Hello, everybody. My name is Jack Caravanos, and I want to continue uh, giving you some advice on controlling mold after a flood like the one we've seen at Hurricane Sandy. Uh, the next topic is using humidifiers, and I want to give you some pointers here. Uh, first off, you need to set the dehumidifier on the driest setting. Usually, there's the lowest setting possible. Do not set it uh, too high, otherwise you won't dry out the air, which will then dry out the furnishings. You have to drain these things. Many people connect them to hoses, which drain continuously. You'll be surprised how quickly they fill up. If the unit is not working, it's not dehumidifying, so you got to make sure to drain it. Make sure the exhaust is pointed to the hottest, the wettest part of the home. The exhaust, the back of the unit, shoots out uh, generally uh, hot, dry air, and you want to point this to the wettest area of the home. Uh, I recommend getting the largest one you can, at least 65 pints. Small ones that are 20 pints just don't have enough power to do the job, and they fill up very quickly. Uh, you should use one per room, in general, uh, one even in a closet. But one dehumidifier in a large basement will just not do it fast enough. You should also elevate it if possible. You want the air to circulate around these things and not just put it in a corner up against the wall. Uh, make sure to shut the windows and the doors. Make sure uh, you're not bringing in any other air into the room. You want to suck out all the moisture and keep the conditions uh, as dry as possible. Do not use fans. Uh, the problem here is that you may actually exacerbate the mold spread and cause uh, mold spores to migrate throughout the house. So even though the dehumidifier has a fan, it's a gentle fan. Do not use large fans to dry out uh, basements. And finally, I want to remind you that uh, concrete and other high density materials take a long time to dry. You need to make sure the subflooring, the wooden flooring, all high density materials are totally dry out before you rebuild. Otherwise, you're going to have a large, expensive mold abatement on your uh, hands. Okay, hope that was helpful and good luck to you. Bye.